Hi everyone, it's Vindu. Welcome to this week's video, um, which I am posting kind of late, but it's fine. I'm posting it and that's what matters. Uh, this week I wanted to draw a one of those about me, like about the artist little pictures. Um, I've always thought that they were really fun, but I've never managed to actually finish drawing one. I've drawn a lot of like standing portraits of me with the intention of having them be one of those, but this is the first time I've ever added all the little details and finished it up, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm sure it's the fact that I was making a video of it that allowed me to do that. So, again, this channel is helping me out. Here I am sketching out the little character of me. Um, I have a interesting way of drawing myself that was inspired by um, one of those popular little doll icon makers that people have been using a lot lately. Uh, a lot of them don't have brown skin tones, and so I just replaced it with a uh, dark teal or green whenever that was available, and I love little elf ears, so I always gave myself those, and on one of them, they had, like, you could put a star in one of your eyes, and so I did that, <laughs> and so that's what this character is kind of inspired by and how I got the idea to draw myself like this and I think it's fun I think drawing figurative versions of yourself is a fun thing to do you know, draw how you look on the inside <laughs> I I just changed the shirt that my little character was wearing every time I draw myself I always forget what I wear like I forget what are the clothes that I wear, which is really funny because lately I have been wearing about the same thing every single time I go out, which is this oversized um, button-up shirt that has got these flowers all over it, and then just a pair of mid-thigh length shorts, and I have... I decided to draw myself where my, wearing a pair of Doc Martens. I actually don't have a dog, pair of Doc Martens that are brown like these ones end up being. Um, here I am sketching out my cat, but I don't use this sketch. I didn't actually film me drawing my cat. <laughs> and here's my likes and dislikes. This was really hard. I kept thinking of things that I liked, but <laughs> my dislikes were really hard. I ended up with multiple food items in there because that's all I could think of. Um, and here we are painting. Again, we are mostly just using the Winter Newton Artist watercolors. Um, and I kind of regret the color that I put down right here for the backwash. <laughs> that's not the right word for it, but for the general wash or I guess I regret starting with my cat because my cat is white and this was very dark pink and I never actually managed to get that coloring back. I've been filling in these little flags. I actually drew the flags first before I decided what I was going to put on them um, and that's why the fourth one is just sitting there because I had no idea what I was going to fill it up with and I knew that the first one was going to be Aquarius, the second one was going to be Gryffindor, and the third one was going to be the Trans Pride flag, but the fourth one, I it was a mystery. I end up filling it with my um, Chinese Zodiac, <laughs> or I guess, what's it called? I can't remember exactly what that Zodiac is called, so I guess I'm just going to keep calling it. Chinese zodiac. Maybe I'll Google it and put it on the screen right now. <laughs> Here I am filling in my nice green skin and a yellow for the button up. I hadn't decided yet if I was going to pattern the button up. It's supposed to be white with flowers on it. Um, 
and I decided just to go with this yellow right here. Here I'm filling in the boots brown even though I don't own a pair of brown Doc Martens. I only own a pair of floral patterned ones. I used to own a pair of like the reddish brown ones but they were too small for me so I got rid of them. <laughs> here is my hair. Um, as you can see down there I changed how the cat's poses. Um, his name is Creed. He's a sweet little white cat with some gray hair on his head. Uh, I love him. Here I'm trying to use the white from the Koi watercolors set and to just lighten up the things that are supposed to be white. It worked okay. Um, later I'm gonna bring even more things to bring back the white of the paper. Here I am filling in the likes and dislikes colors, which was a pain. Um, I did not enjoy doing this, which is why I've never finished one of these before, because I don't like doing this stuff. Um, yeah, the inside of my bag items one was also a bit, a bit annoying to do. I just... I don't like drawing and filling in little itty bitty things, which I guess I should be practicing on though because I also like elaborate drawings and paintings. <laughs> Here I am adding the pattern to the shirt. Uh, the petals for the flowers are going to be white, so I'm going to be using some white ink for them later. I'm adding a border around it. Uh, just a fun messy border. I actually really like using watercolor for borders like this. And here are my watercolor pencils. I used to work pretty much solely in watercolor pencils and I recently trimmed down my collections to just the ones that I love. Um, I have a couple different brands in here which I will list on the screen. Um, I think I only ended up keeping two different brands. Uh, this one right here is from the first set of watercolor pencils I ever got, which I got for school because we were required to get um, a physical medium to work with. And when I was in school, I really only did digital work. And <laughs> so it was a bit of a panic for me to choose what to get. And I ended up going with those watercolor pencils. I think it's the Koei Noor ones uh, on the screen right now. It's the different ones, which I think might be Faber Castell. I'll have it on the screen exactly what they are. Um, <laughs> I don't have them with me right now. Here I am doing a few different colors for the line art. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite ways to do line art, but it takes a lot of extra time and a lot of extra thought switching between colors. Um, but it really, it does come out with a kind of a better product. Here I am lining out the tattoos. Um, all my tattoos weren't visible in this, but I love my tattoos, so I wanted to have a way to show you exactly what each of them were. Um, I have four tattoos right now, a Triforce, a four-leaf clover, which is supposed to be like uh, the Care Bear Good Luck's belly badge, um, and then I have the logo for the 2015 Fantastic Four movie and a quote from Dear Evan Hansen. Um, the closing line actually, which is keep going until he sees the sun, which is just a very inspirational line for me that I need to remember sometimes. Just like keep it nice and visible on the inside of my wrist. Here I am outlining the contents of my bag. Um, right now I'm outlining the book which at first was going to be Carry On by Rainbow Rowell because that's the book that I was reading but I just made it an abstract book that says um, gay YA novel because that is what I usually have in my bag with my wallet and a pen. Um, here I am trying to add more shading to the cap. I don't know why I used that red shading. It looks bad and I don't like it, but it is what it is. Um, here I am just, that was a very boring part, just watching me line over my lines. And just so I got rid of that. I am doing my likes. Um, I've got some fruits, uh, Care Bears, my boyfriend, lots of greenery. 
and in my dislikes I have um, like almonds I hate almonds they're very bad I do not like them I have what I think is dragon fruit I didn't google it but I'm pretty sure that's how dragon fruit looks and um, green beans because mostly I can only think of food <laughs> it was not that great and I kept thinking of more things to put in my life it's like Star Wars is it in there um I don't have anything for like Marvel in there I have so many likes and my dislikes was just really sparse <laughs> which I guess that means I'm an optimistic person let's let's look at it that way and here I am using the Winsor Newton ink in the white color um, I bought this after I think Lee Ellickson recommended it and it does work very well I actually rarely use it though and I technically got rid of it when me and my boyfriend were doing um, the KonMari method for cleaning our house uh, but he wanted it so I gave it to him which I know it's a little bit against the KonMari method but I didn't want it it's like full I rarely ever used it so I definitely didn't want to get rid of it and it came in use for me right now because as you can see I am just adding a few highlights and I did the flower pattern on the shirt and here is the final piece um, it's got my likes, my dislikes, where I'm from, my age, a bunch of little flags um, I hope that you like it, this little character of me and thank you so much for watching um, I have the credits for the background music 